David Barnes, the Bath prop forward, recently announced his retirement from the game as a player, but in his role as chairman of the Rugby Players Association in England, he's still heavily involved in the sport he served with such distinction. Earlier this month, he embarked on one of his most challenging ventures yet. I think Kilimanjaro is a challenge that, that is accessible for a lot of people, um, but it's still a challenge. It, it's 6,000 metres, it's nearly 20,000 feet, so, so people believe it is a, is a walk in the park, a, a, a slight mistake, and it's, it's something where you do not know the, what, how altitude is going to affect you, and if you do get hit by altitude sickness and the debilitating effects of that, it, it becomes a very real uh, a very real challenge and something that a lot of people can't actually achieve. It's the highest mountain in Africa, um, it's one of the, the famed seven summits in, around the world, and, uh, it, but it's something that you know, we can all give a go and, and, and do our best, to, and working together we'll hopefully make it. One of the two charities hoping to benefit from the trek is Help for Heroes, set up to support injured members of the armed forces. 2007, uh, in June, I was uh, serving in Iraq. Um, on, on one uh, horrible night, uh, I was shot in the spine by a sniper. Uh, which uh, left me paralysed from the waist down to start with. Uh, after going through various hospitals and operations, um, a few months later I was able to uh, walk for the first time after doctors said that I'd never walk again. Uh, Help for Heroes has helped me out uh, immensely. They've helped out with education and, 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 and all sorts really. And um, yeah, without them, I probably wouldn't have got as far as I've got today. And it's non-political, it's not about, you know, which you know, if you agree or disagree with the war, it's simply about helping those soldiers and, and men and women, and, and that, for me, is very important. And so, after months of arduous training, 41 intrepid souls left England for Tanzania. Joining Barnes was another former player who had more reason than most to appreciate the purpose of the trip. I played at uh, the Falcons and then a couple of good years down at uh, Northampton Saints. I'd just moved up to Sale Sharks and uh, it was March the 12th, 2000, which is an ominous date for me. Caught at the bottom of a ruck, Andy Blythe dislocated a disc in his back and at one point it was feared he might never walk again. I'm not sure if other sports would react in the same way, but that, that family sort of attitude of rugby and stuff is, is you know, it, it's humbling at times and, it, and it's really nice and, you know, you think you're on your own at times and you, and you look around and, and it's, you know, they're always there. While the RFU's Injured Players Foundation and the RPA Benevolent Fund have played huge roles in his recovery, much of the credit goes down to Andy himself. Kilimanjaro, just the latest challenge he's taken in his ever-improving stride. If someone had asked me even two or three years ago, think, oh, you know, what about going climbing Kilimanjaro? I'd have probably laughed in their face and stuff, but it's obviously here and it's real now, and I'm, I don't know whether I'm relatively confident and stuff, and I'm just hoping I'm bitten off more than I can chew, but I'll, uh, I'll find out in the next few days. And as soon as they arrived, the missionaries set to work, spreading the word at a local school. We're going to Kilimanjaro tomorrow, but another part of it is, is giving something back to the local community. And rugby is a great game, and if we can spread the word and help these guys out and introduce them to rugby, then you know, all the better. It's a wonderful occasion. It's here the children have never seen a rugby ball before. So many smiling faces. Yeah, very welcome in school as well. So very honoured to be here as well. Barnes, you want to do some scrums in practice, some line out moves, but I said, Barnes, just keep it nice and simple. I'm sure my Swahili's up to it, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> ready? You all ready? Down low, down low, down low. Three, two, one. <laughs> nice one 
so a rewarding day for all, but thoughts soon began to turn to the more daunting challenge that lay ahead, one that would test the mental and physical strength of every member of the team. <laughs> Now we're ready to go. Join us next week to see how we get on on Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah!